Okay, in this video, I show you how to, uh, some preliminary things that you do when you first open up Simulate, and we'll talk about how to build a basic model. So when you first open up Simulate, you'll see this, and I generally, this is just an explorer if you want to go find previous files. I generally close this out. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to go under File, Preferences, under Distance, I want you to set the distance as equal to zero. And yes. The other thing is that the time clock, I don't want to worry about days and minutes and like that right now. So what I want you to do is right click on the clock till you get clock properties and turn it to a simple count. And now this will just be a simple count. So that's always, anytime you start a new model, go ahead and do that. You can always do a file, save as. Put this file somewhere. It has the extension .sa. So when you're doing your models for class and you need to submit your simulate file, you can actually submit this file in Blackboard. Simulate has constructs over here or objects that we're going to drag over into the workspace. There's five of those, starting, queue, activity, end, and resource. We're going to focus on the first four, and then also how we chain these things together, how we link these things is with this. So I'm going to first always start with the starting point. This allows us to create things that are going to move in the system. Right now, the time between arrivals is exponentially distributed. We'll talk about what that means later. And the average time between arrivals is 10 units, 10 time units. So I'm going to leave that as is. Then I'm going to get, bring in a queue. And if you notice, there's no link between these two. If there is a link, that's good. But if there's not, you can always go link these by hitting the editing, edit routing arrow. So I'm going to left click. And it brings a cursor there, and you need to put it on the origin. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, and then I'm going to left click. It adds a question mark, and now it's wanting to know what the destination. I put the end of the arrow right in the middle, and look how it changed to a big arrow. Left click again, and now they're connected. I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm going to add an activity. And you notice it collect the arrow then again. If I wanted to get rid of that, I could left click, delete it, and go over to here, click this back on. Left click on the origin, the destination, turn it off, and the last thing we need is the end. So we built a very simple model where we have things arriving, that's what this is, and things leaving. You've always got to have a leaving, so things got to leave the system, and almost always you need to have a way for things to arrive to the system. In the middle is what's happening, so in this case we have entities or people arriving and they're going to be processed by this process but if there's someone there they have to wait in line so if i would run this i could go under the home and hit run and things are happening and this as you can see it's happening over time the time is changing i can pause it i can rewind it i can run it slow slower I can run it real fast where I turn off all the animation by moving it all. So I can again rewind it, do this. So that's how I can run this in any way I want. Ultimately, what we need to do is be able to get the output to a report. So after I've run this or at any point in time when I'm running, I can double click on these to get some results. So I'm going to first double click on the end. And under results, you can see that the average time in the system was 43 time units. I had 224 go through the system. The maximum time in the system was 108 time units. If I look at this, look under results, I can look at the percentage of time working was 91%. The percentage of time where that was not working because there was not any work or entities in the system was about eight to nine percent. I 
can look at my line, my queue, look at results, and you get two pieces of information. At the top, you get the number of items. So on average, the average line size was three, the maximum line size was 12, and then the time that they were in the system, the average was 33 time units with the max of 100. So those are all good pieces of information. Those are things I want to measure if it's a good system or not. So I want to be able to get that to a report. Here's how you can get these to a report. You can double click under results. And now you see when I hover over that, it gives you an arrow with an R. I'm going to right click on the average, right click. Now when I run a report, I'm going to get that. I'm going to go to activity one and I'm going to hit results. And now I'm going to right click on this 91. I'm also going to get this one. Now I'm going to go to the queue and the results. And I'm going to look at the average queue size, the maximum queue size, the average time. I'm going to go ahead and get the max time. So there's a bunch of information that I got. Now that I'm going to get that, how I'm going to generate a report is under the home, I'm going to run a trial. Now we can set the trial up, but I'm not even going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to hit this and run a trial. And it ran it really fast, and look what happens. I get a report that generates. And it gives me the average time in the system for all of this was about 108. The waiting percent was 4.3. The working was 95. So these numbers here are my report. And I can actually go over here to this button and click on it, and it copies it. Now I can open up Excel. Go in and paste it. So there's this. These are the performance. This is the objects that we did it. It has each of the individual runs, but we don't really care about those, so I'm going to hide those. And actually, the confidence interval, I'm just going to really focus right now on these in the middle. So that's how I can get things to excel and build some reports out of this. Okay, that's the basic of the first run. We'll start using this um, as we do more sophisticated uh, models. Thanks.